Today I'm going to show you how to present a logo design to a client online and not in person. This is my method of presenting a logo design to a client, but it's not the only way however. What is up people, welcome back to the home of graphic design content here on YouTube, Satori Graphics. This is the last upload this week because I upload Monday to Thursday every single week. But if you have any types of videos that you want to see on this channel here at Satori Graphics, drop your suggestions down in the comment section below of this video. If you do enjoy my content, make sure to share my videos to other eager and keen designers that you might know. And of course, drop a like on your way out. Now, how to present a logo design to a client. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this is my own method on how to present a logo design to a client over the internet. I can make a video on the logo design presentation in person, which obviously is slightly different. Here are a few designs I worked on for a project not very long ago. Just to let you know guys, the final logo design was pretty different from what you're seeing here after I had gone through the entire logo design process, but I'm using these designs here as an example. You may have a huge collection of designs in Illustrator like I do here. This was the first stage of the logo design project where I had explored a few different concepts and wanted to run them by my clients. However, you do not want to confuse and swamp your client with many many designs, so it's best to choose some of your favourite designs. It is a good idea to send the logo design choices over to your client in both colour and in black and white or grayscale. At this stage however, it's not hugely important to add colour, unless the concept heavily requires colour. But yeah, choose some favourite logo designs and then align them neatly on your Illustrator artboard. To present them, you'll probably want to send them over a PDF file, which I will show you how to do shortly. Let's say for example you want to present a final logo design concept to your client. You can do it this way. Make two copies of the same design and then open up the colour window. You can select each colour segment of your logo design and then change it to grayscale here. Now you can present the logo design as black and white and colour. But for a PDF presentation, select all the typography in your logo design and then create outlines like so. This will stop any issues with fonts not being read on your client's computer. From here, go up to File and Save As, choose PDF, and then select the most recent version of Acrobat. If you want to check the logo design, click the View PDF After Saving option. This would be a great way to present to your client for critique. You can also present the logo in this way as well, adding a white on black option. Finally, I will quickly go through the file formats you might want to use to save your final logo design for your client. I save as AI, EPS and also PDF. Then also in the Save for Web option, I will save PNG both transparent and opaque and finally in JPEG. So did you enjoy my video on how to present a logo design to a client? Let me know in the comment section below and like and share this video as it really does help my channel. Until next time, there's only future today. Peace.